Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the premiere week of J. Curtis Daily, art delivered daily. This week, we have an exciting week, lots of videos for you to enjoy. Today is Art Inspired Monday, which will be divided into four categories, cooking, photography, music, and poetry. We'll be kicking off season one with a cooking video. This past Christmas, I got a care package from my mom with all kinds of Southern goodness. In that care package was New Orleans gumbo. So I decided to cook some New Orleans gumbo for Christmas. Premier week has officially started. So enjoy my step-by-step -step on how I created my work of art, New Orleans gumbo. All right, first step, wash your hands. Then you want to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. All right, so you don't have to cook your chicken at 400 degrees, but you just want to make sure you get the internal temperature to 165 degrees. All right, I personally like to put uh, green, red peppers and yellow peppers and onions in my gumbo, but you know, you can put whatever your heart desire. Gumbo really doesn't have uh, any specific ingredient, just what specifically okra is used in New Orleans style gumbo. But now you wanna let your vegetables saute for about 10, 10 minutes or less just so it caramelizes and while that's caramelizing we're going to cut up our chicken the chicken pretty much cuts up really easily so kind of just breaks up regardless it'll break up in the soup so don't really stress on how big or how small the sizes are Those of you who are really from New Orleans, don't be mad at me right now, but I used imitation crab, but by no means are you supposed to use imitation crab. Use real crab. FYI. Got my sway fish panned up here, getting ready to put it in the oven. 400 degrees is also good about for the fish right now. Use that slap your mama <laughs> seasoning, which is just garlic, red pepper, and black pepper. Peeled up my shrimp and here's the sausage that I used getting ready to cut that up um, I cut it up in the uh, quarters just bite size is fine though it doesn't have to be cut up that way so now that we got all our ingredients cut up ready to go Let's throw it in the pot. We're gonna uh, make up a chicken base. You can use like whatever base you want. You know, you do the mixture per packaging. Stir it up really nice. All right, so you wanna stir that up, bring it to a boil. And now we got our magic ingredient, Louisiana. Louisiana, excuse me, gumbo base. And this uh, is a really good base and it has a lot of good flavor. I definitely recommend this. Um, you may only be able to order it from New Orleans. Yeah, I'm gonna find out exactly where uh, you can get this from. Uh, ask my mom, see if you can order it online. I think you can order it online though. 
Um, but I will put the information on that in the comment section below. This is a really good base though. But yeah, you just want to stir this in and you know let it bring it to a boil. All right, now we're gonna throw in all of our ingredients. Got the chicken. That's the that's the fish cut up. Uh, the imitation crab. The sausage. All right, the sausage and finally the shrimp. Throw all of that in there and everything's pretty much cooked. So all it's gonna do now is kind of marinate and uh, flavor. Oh, and uh, not to forget our chicken. We'll put that in there as well. And yeah, it's all cooked. Just wanna stir that up really good and bring it to a boil again. After you bring it to a boil, you're gonna let it simmer and that's pretty much it you could get this gumbo if you from start to finish in about 30 minutes and it is so good And after simmering about a good 15 minutes, it's good to go. Ready, ready to serve. And check that out. Give it a good whiff. It smells good. There you have it. New Orleans style gumbo. With the exception of the imitation crab. And like I said, you might also want to use okra and whatever other vegetables you like in your gumbo but there's no wrong way to do New Orleans style gumbo all right hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step on how I made my New Orleans gumbo stay tuned tomorrow for the premiere of the season one Jay Curtis daily dance Video. If you like this video, show your support by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.